Hi, I'm Stanley and I'm from BBS Peak. My mentor is uh, very helpful and very supportive to me. So there's one time that uh, when I did the first block box, I it fell down because it doesn't have enough clamp. And I fixed it by staying calm and be patient. And then when I have some calmness and patience, I I can I fix my problems. Early. So the cool things about my robot is about the the blue hands which can clamp and then this these uh, balls underneath and the uh, the thing that makes it makes the uh, clamping go up. So I think this whole competition, it was great, it was fun. I have learned a lot and I have a great experience with, in the competition. I want to say thank you to the ones who helped me a lot during the preparation. Hi, my name is Annabelle and I'm from the Bina Bangsa School Kebonjodok Primary and Peace School. The cool things I learned while making my robot is that it has many many very complicated parts but but that complicated parts is only used for simple things i got inspired by my friends in school that went to china and also the past history of my family that also joined robotics competitions i have many funny experiences with my friends like do misplacing things and just doing pranks on each other. I want to say thank you to my mentors and my teammates that helped me during preparation. Hi, kami dari tim Deva AI. Perkenalkan dulu, nama saya Devin. Saya dari sekolah SD Plus Rahmat, Kota Kediri. Saya Aiken. Saya dari SD Laboratorium UNPGRI Kediri. Perkenalkan, saya Alfa Alarik Trisepta. Jadi kami membuat robot yang bernama Amphibious Ocean Cleaner. Jadi robot kami dapat bekerja di dua medan, yaitu medan daratan dan medan perairan. Permasalahannya robot ini sulit untuk mendeteksi sampah. E, kami terinspirasi mengikuti kompetisi ini karena pelatih mengajak kami untuk mengikuti kompetisi ini dan juga kami mencari prestasi untuk mempersiapkan diri masuk SMP Hi, my name is Emma and I am from Bina Bangsa School, Pantai Indah Kapuk Campus So I joined this MakeX competition because I was inspired that I could get a scholarship to save money for my family because it is really crucial in our lives. And I also see this Make X competition as an opportunity for me to improve my education about robotics. So I had this one funny experience with my friends during preparation, which is when... Can I restart? Because I don't have one. My mentor is smart, um, well-disciplined, and nice. I feel like not everyone gets the chance to be here, and I'm really lucky. Hello, my name is Audric Angelosai, and my school is Sinarmas World Academy. I joined Make X Explorer 2024. I found this competition two years ago when uh, one of the te teachers here, Mr. Yosef or Mr. Antonius, introduced it to me. At first, I joined Starter. It was quite hard with all auto of the automatic, but when I moved to Explorer, I decided to stay in this competition. It was very fun building. It was very fun designing. There were so many things that I didn't know, like for example, this uh, this timing belt. I didn't even know this was called a timing belt. There's a lot to learn. The cool things I learned about making my bot is that there are so many possibilities to cast. 
All of the designs here, you see, are all made with cats. This large plate, this launcher back here, the grabber, everything was designed using cats. And when I needed the parts to be really, really rigid, I used metal. But since more than 90% of this bot is made of 3D printed materials and CNC, as well as CNC milling, this is a really light robot. It looks like it's probably 5 kilograms, but it's only 2.8 kilos. Um, during the match, I faced a few problems. Sometimes the automatic didn't want to grab the cone. Sometimes this uh, rubber track got loose, it's like this. During that, I had to stay calm drag the robot back to starting area and fix it. Losing 20 points is not a big deal. I just have to keep my calm and focus on the match and try to score more points. Of course, I did have fun experiences with my family and mentor. My mentor for this game is my father. He helped me a lot with some of the designing. He helped me bring the parts to the CNC place so it can get cut it. He also helped with buying the 3D printer and looking for parts. So he had a very, very big contribution to this. Uh, I would just like to say thank you very much to my father for helping me with all the preparations. I would also like to thank my friends, like the friends team called Quantum something something. They helped a lot because they suggested a few things for the automatic, the, the grabber. They did help a bit. I think this competition is very fun. There's not much to the programming, it's a few blocks, but the most important thing is that I could use a controller and there's no, no certainty in matches. There could be two good teams versus one good team and bad team and the one with the bad alliance can still win. So there is no certainty in this match. Everything is based on the person driving the match and we cannot predict the results. That's the funnest part of this competition. My dream university is Tsinghua University, so winning this competition would put a big portfolio in my portfolio. It will have a big impact to my career. After this, I'll probably fix some of the parts of the robot, make it better so that we can at least get into the qualifications and even ma maybe make it to top 16 in China Global. Just try not to lose confidence during the building process, the a game, uh, like just now, even though there were two strong teams, yeah, like I said, the bad alliance still won. The, I, I lost my calm, so don't just say that I'll lose this match. Just try to keep on doing your best, and maybe with, your, with luck being in your side, you can win. That's a wrap on the MakeX competition, episode three. What an incredible journey it's been watching these talented teams push the limits of innovation and creativity with their robots. We can't wait to see who will rise to the challenge next. Until then, keep building, keep innovating, and we'll see you in the next episode.